Spy is a, a commercial hacking tool. It gets into people's computers. Gamma Group sells this to law enforcement spy agencies around the world. And what we found by being able to take a closer look inside the guts of it is that it operates pretty much as advertised. It can listen to your Skype calls. It can intercept your emails. It's there to take over your computer secretly from the inside and broadcast all of the contents that it wants. If it decides, I'm going to turn the microphone on, it's going to do that. And it broadcasts it back to these operating centers that are listening in and recording every bit of data and storing it. The FinSpy spyware product is produced in Germany and it's become a political issue partly because the same sort of products were being used domestically by law enforcement in Germany and now that it's come out that they're exporting a, a similar type, there's a real conflict between people who are supporting the industry of Germany and their need to sell stuff and those who think that you know, human rights uh, concerns should be, hold sway. A lot of the human rights activists have voiced concerns about how this is being used, who it's being used against. Um, once it's sold, it's in the hands of whatever country, whatever government, whatever spy agency uh, it's in the hands of. So the human rights activists and a lot of politicians in Europe now, where this is exported from, are calling for restrictions on, on how it gets exported. After revelations in the last year about FinSpy and this German software being used in countries like Bahrain and pitching it in Egypt, there has been pub a little public pressure after the UK launched an initiative to have export restrictions for spying software like that. The German foreign minister also said, oh yeah, they're part of the sanctions that we use against countries like Iran and Syria. But we think that's not enough, enough to have a uh, blacklist of countries that include export restrictions for such software in their sanctions. We should treat the software like weapons and restrict the export of such software in any country that is known for violating human rights. Let's say a government uh, somewhere in the Middle East or Asia or the Americas buys one of these systems. Yeah. Does it have to use it just in that country? No. I mean, the, the system is especially and by advertisement made for uh, targets which reside in foreign countries or who travel, which means this... Uh, also, I have no idea how they want to um, justify this being legal because um, it might be legal for a government in, within their country, so within their jurisdiction, to say with a court decision or whatever, well, we suspect this guy to be involved in some criminal activities, we want evidence on that, so we target his computer. But the moment he travels, he is already, um, like in other jurisdictions, where this might be totally illegal to spy on his computer. And also, the way it is made, it's not exactly for controlling who uses the computer. So they do advertise, for example, that um, you can pre-install the tool in an internet cafe on each and every machine. So when the people use Skype to like, make their phone calls, they can listen to all the phone calls. And I have no idea because this is not the normal sense of lawful interception where a court decides someone is a suspect. This is like a strategic approach, intercept them all and then sort out later who's of interest for us now or later. For Gamma Group, they're very clear. They operate within the law. They say that they obey the export restrictions of the UK, the US and Germany. Um, they say that the system itself has built-in controls that are good for making sure that it tracks any changes. If they listen to a Skype call and if someone tries to edit that to make some funny business with what's in it, there will be a record of which seconds were edited out and which agent did that. So their position is they're acting within the law and that what they do as far as the world of hacking goes is one of the most responsible products if you're in the business of intruding on people's computers. Thank you.